Hi everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home and I am back again today with a continuation of my Inspired Room series, uh, being inspired by Melissa Michaels, the author of The Inspired Room. She also wrote Love the Home You Have, which I have a series on that I will have go across the screen for you if you missed that series. I absolutely love that book and I am totally loving her new book as well, The Inspired Room. So if you haven't caught any of my previous videos, I'm just kind of going through chapter by chapter, which she kind of designates a room for each of the chapters and applying it to my own home and talking to you guys about what I loved about what she said and what I want to try in my own space in hopes that continuing to talk about this and talk about spaces can keep us all like sort of fresh in our ideas for our homes and in our inspiration. So I wanted to talk to you first before I show you my space about some of the things that I loved in chapter two, which is all about a place to gather the living and dining rooms. Now, I love this because my living and dining room are actually just one room. So it's great that uh, these are lumped together in the chapter because they're lumped together in my home. But I love how she said, with a little thoughtful reimagining, any space can be enjoyed more meaningfully. And she talked a lot in the book and in her first book as well about how you don't necessarily have to use a room the way that the real estate agent claimed that it should be used. If your dining room isn't functioning for you as a formal dining room, turning it into a sitting room or a playroom or whatever fits your family, your home, your life. So she also talked about not being afraid of an empty room and I totally needed to hear this because I get all like, oh, nothing's up, nothing's done. But she said the empty room is actually a place of like a starting point. You know, it's, she says, empty rooms offer the hope of a room you'll love and use. So sometimes setting it back to empty is actually really helpful. Uh, so I loved that and it was a big learning moment for me. So she talks about creating a dining room that invites you to stay. And she kind of has three things that she feels really help a dining room create that sort of ambiance. The first is to have a striking statement, something that's just like, bam, this is the dining room. The second is to have a refreshed backdrop. So fresh paint, making it feel clean. You don't want to eat in a space that doesn't feel calm or clean or anything like that. Um, and then the third is to have sanity saving storage. I think if we don't have the storage, then we just start getting cluttery and all that. So she talked about that. But the thing that I loved the most was what she talked about what to keep, give away, and get. Kind of having this running list of things that you know you love and you want to keep, things that you know you're ready to get rid of, and then things that you're looking for, that you're hunting for. Um, she talks about, is this a flexible piece? Can you use it in more than one room? Because that will definitely give you more bang for your buck if you move things around. Does it truly reflect your style? Does it make you happy? And all of us who love the KonMari method know, does it bring you joy, that phrase. She talked about quality over quantity, and that quality doesn't necessarily mean that it's expensive. Some of the most quality pieces I own, I picked up really inexpensively secondhand, so I definitely agree with her on that. And uh, she talked about not hanging on to furniture because that adds more visual clutter than joy. So you just need to let it go. So just hanging on to a piece of furniture just because you have it doesn't really serve your home well. She said, it's great to be head over heels in love with each piece, but it's more important to love the way a room feels as a whole. And I love that. So with that, I want to take you guys into my living room and dining room and talk to you about the things that inspired me and things that I want to try in my living room. Okay, so I'm going to start in the living area and right off the bat, I'm sure you can tell lighting. Oh my gosh, do I need lighting? It's so dark back there. And um, I actually really would love to install lighting up on the ceiling here. I talked to my dad about it. It's going to be more of a project than we anticipated, so I have to wait on that. So in the meantime, I'm hoping to get a lamp to go here that can be nice and tall and kind of shine this way. This corner is going to be dark until we can do that project, but when Melissa talked about lighting in her book, I knew exactly that was number one on my list for my dining or living area is lighting. I'm panning over now into my dining area. I actually really love this space in my home. I think what really changed 
changed it for me was when we added this farmhouse pendant. Before I had track lighting outdated here and we removed that. And as you can see, the ceiling is a little bit stained by that lighting. So for me, number one on the list for the dining area is painting the ceiling a nice, fresh, bright white that kind of goes with the trim and the uh, cupboards that we have so that it just, you know, overall, I think that would help with the lighting in this area too, that it would just reflect more and just feel brighter and lighter. Thanks so much everyone for coming around my living room and dining room with me. I really love this space and I'm excited to do some of the upgrades I talked about. If you're reading the book, let me know down below what you're thinking of it. And, I, and just so you know, I'm not sponsored at all by Melissa Michaels. I just absolutely love her writing and how she keeps me inspired to make my home a beautiful place to live. So I will have her book and blog links below. I also wanted to let you know about a really wonderful, beautifully done dining room update that I saw on the channel Fabulously nesting. I asked her if it was okay if I referenced her video because I think it'd be great for you guys to go check it out. So I'll have her link below so you can go see her dining room video is awesome. So I'll have more in this series coming your way soon. You guys take care and I'll be back later. Bye!